sports, everyone. It has been a hard-fought series thus far, and it could come to an end here in game number six tonight. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. competitors say just when you think that he's completely out of it James he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive lots of time left in this period we're still scoreless Wheeling's won the draw no go to work hooks it away in his own end important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence we get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice right in front of the paint doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home wheeling's on the board just like that and this crowd we thought it was hot before it's gone next level already. Well, it has because it's the opening minute of the game when they score, and this is exactly what they wanted. You want to elevate the crowd. You want to get the momentum behind you. Man, they were off. They were hopping, and they dictated the pace. Six of feet in front, and that stopped. Goaltender covers up, and we'll get a faceoff. The Nailers have been the better team to this point. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Sends it ahead to Martin. Slip feed. Wheeling's got control of it now from their own end. Pushes it across to Martel. On the attack along the boards. Indies regain possession of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steve. Picked up along the wall by Cameron. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Indy's ready to go on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Wheeling's got it in their own zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Quick feed to Lee. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The fuel have to serve two for tripping. Starting the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra tipper to the ice. Let's see what the officials say. The Nailers have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on hockey on tap. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Nailers take control of the faceoff. Here's a chance in front. This 
They're really applying the squeeze down on the offensive end. The puck is frozen out. Big face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. You gotta find ways to get pucks to the net. Wheeling's got a hold of the puck. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Veerling. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Hillis plays it now. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Indies won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Puts it on net. How did he stop that one? This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Limos wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. This just exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. The fuel have broken the deadlock here in the first and have the lead. Well, when you have a quick strike and you get the go-ahead goal, you want to stay on the puck. You know that the entire staff is going to be telling the bench, let's keep it going, stay on the puck. Let's try and stretch this out. And now it's grabbed by Cameron. Indy's got the puck against the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Martin. Sends the pass down low. From the slot, wrist shot. Here's the shot. And he stakes that one with the glove. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time. And man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Indy's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. Quick pass to Buns. Takes the pass. Shot! And that caroms off a body in the lane. Right up the gut into the offensive end. And that sails over the net. With the stop. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. More than half the period has expired. Indy's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Receives the pass. The Nailers have it from the corner. Grabs possession of the puck. Good hit to pump him off the puck. The Fuel have taken possession along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Sends the feet in front, and it goes off a stick and off target. Dismiss that chance. Wheeling's looking to break out. Here's a summary pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Great defensive effort with the stick. Nice zone entry on the left side. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Picked up along the boards by Martel. Grabs the puck. Here's a oh, wins the ball. The Nailers ready to go on the attack. Quick feed down low. Back to the blue line. On the backhand. Such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about complete and finding a way to get to the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Indies put a lot of pucks on net and they continue to lead late in the first. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. 
And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James. And to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded. we got to find a way to kill it off. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Wheeling's game possession along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Lemus. Indy's looking to break out. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Angles it over to Beerley. Forces the turnover, comes up with the puck. Indy's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Impressive job by the penalty-killing unit to keep that one-goal lead intact as we are back to even strength. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Puts it on goal. Shuts them down. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like slashing is the call. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Well, he's going to get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. And he makes the easy save. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. A chance for both teams to refuel. They're back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Indies won the opening draw, and their power play rolls on. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Great chance, and an even better save! Here's a short pass to Lemos. Misses! Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, misses the net. Lemos carries the puck in his own zone. Indy's got the puck in the corner. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Indy's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Lemos wins the face off of the offensive zone. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes the save. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Dumps it in. Pushes it across to Lemos. Gaining momentum up along the side. Now a quick pass to Cameron. Slides the puck over. Trying to get back on the attack now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. And oh, save on the play! Whoa! And he's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. That's wide of the net. 
Good fight for the puck along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it. The fuel have it now. Looking for space inside the D zone. Across the line. Puck grab by Lee. And he takes the pass. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. That's blocked by Weeks. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James. But man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Indy's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Fearlings won the draw there on the attack. Cuts to the paint. Here's a chance. Great save by Weeks. Slides it across to McDougal. Here's a shot. Stops him with a glove. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Wheeling's won the draw. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Handles the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. McTubal stick handling in his own zone. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Here's a shot. Glove save. Indy's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Jankowski's got it along the boards. Quick shot! Oh, a clutch save! Weeks had to be dialed in on that last save. Not the way he challenged, made himself as big as possible, and took away the net. Indy's in now. Moves it quickly over to Lang. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Comes up with a monster save in front. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Fuel have extended their lead to two here in the second. Cheryl, I know they talk about the two-goal lead being the most dangerous in hockey, but I'd rather be up by two at this stage of the game. I think everyone would rather be up than be down, James, but it's holding that lead, which is going to be critically important because it's the mindset. You want to make sure you continue to attack because the next goal is critical. You don't want to give any life to your opponent. They get within one. Watch out. Shot! Denied by the puck stopper. Weeks has really looked dialed in between the pipes tonight, James. He's made the saves he's needed to, and his team has been tremendous in front of him, creating a ton of scoring opportunities and a reason why they've got a great lead. More than half the frame has been played here. Indy's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Petrozzini. Had the corner and just missed. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that inside leg just bear down the bottom hand as well, but he's unable to convert. Wheeling's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Lee. And he takes the feed. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds it back to the net. The Nailers needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Cairns plays the puck. The Nailers look to start the transition game. Lee's taking it from his own end. 
Along the side, here they come to the neutral zone. Indy's got the puck. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Grabs it in his own end. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Now he takes it over the line. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Scoops for the crease. Oh, going wide. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas and they try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Make a change, make a change. Takes a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Indy's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. Lemos takes possession right off the draw. Bank pass feed. Shot. Oh, what a chance in the slot to put it wide. Well, a golden opportunity, James, and plan from the middle of the ice is exactly what you want, but he just misses. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-2 is where we're sitting. Indy's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Nichols got it in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, and how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those grade-A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. Up along the wing. Here's a chance! With possession along the wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Fires it on net. Big save right at the end. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Wheeling's got to have a fresh start in his third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. Take it along the wall by Cameron. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Shot! Can't get it to go. Buns works the puck in his own zone. Fires it! Denies him! He got all of it! Poked away by Martin. From the top of the offensive zone here. And he stops that kid in there! Wow! Malone's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves inside! Gets in front of it. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Puck scooped up by Martel. Lee's carrying it ahead. Takes a shot. That sails over the net. Nice feed at center. Moves up ahead now. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Drake. The Nailers played along the wing. That's gloved by Winks. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. 
Wheeling's got a hold of it along the wall. The Nailers will play it in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Veerling. Here's a shot! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Baker's got the puck in his own zone. Indy's got a hold of it against the wall. The Nailers gain possession in their own end. Wheeling's in transition. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Indy's got it in their own zone. Steps into the offensive end. Indy's got the puck against the wall. And they keep the pressure on. Quick pass across to McDougal. And he takes the dish. Great reach with the poke check. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Moves the pass in front. And that's stopped. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Indy's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. Wheeling's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Turned aside with the glove by Weeks. He carries the puck up along the wing. Puts it on net. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow. Still lots of time left in the period. Indy's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Langs won the draw here in the offensive zone. On the redirect. And he takes the feed. And he slides it quickly to Jankowski. Shot. And that's broken up. Indy's got a hold of the puck now. Langs loving the puck. Moves it to the middle. the midway mark of the frame. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Sends it in on the attack. Moves the puck over to Lang. Gaining momentum up along the side. Fires it into the offensive zone. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Moves it to Lee. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Indy's going to play the puck from behind the cage. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Shot tipped in front. The Nailers gain possession along the wall. Lee's crossed the line and gained the zone. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Indy's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. And they take possession here in the offensive zone, and time to go on the attack. And that goes off a body. Lays out to block it. This is my kind of play, James. You gotta get in the shot lanes late in the third period. You're trying to preserve a lead, and what it does just ignites everyone on the bench. That's a huge play. Grabs the puck, and that's blocked away. The Nailers have it now. With some open space at center. The fuel position along the boards. Quick feed to Cameron. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. There's a shot. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Indy's coaches have to be impressed from what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. The fuel have gained possession off the wall. A nasty whack, and the officials all over that one. And the officials.
officials will pass the sentence here. That's going to be a slashing call. Anytime you come over the top or you hit the equipment and the ref is there, you're going to get a two-minute penalty. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Picked up along the wall by McDougal. Sends a pass over. Nice save from point blank range. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Great heads-up play with the stick by Nickel. They've really got him on their heels here now. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this face-off. The Nailers win the draw. Trying to clear. The fuel have the puck on the attack. The Nailers get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. Although they're still trailing, this game is now within reach with that effective kill. That gives life to the entire bench. The Nailers play it along the boards. Shot! The Nailers have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Here he is, shot right inside. Weeks makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. They've got the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Fearling's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Indy's looking to break out of their own end. Battling for it along the boards. Handles the pass. Attacker comes on with the goalie out of the net. They have the advantage and they use it perfectly. They're all over the ice. They're all over the puck. Coverage is running and they bury it. Indy's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances and they lead this third period. and we're going to game seven. Can you even pick one way or the other here, Cheryl? Oh, I don't know if you can pick one way or the other, but I, I got to lean towards the team that just tied it up. I mean, belief on that bench right now is at an all-time high, and you can talk about skills on both sides. Obviously, it's there, two top teams playing, but you have to look at the, what is going to be the difference maker, and often it's something so small like belief, which is actually huge. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski wishing you a safe and healthy night. And we'll see you down the road again soon.